With all the things found in the ocean, it's no wonder that most of us prefer to stay on land. There are a lot of interesting creatures in the ocean, and it's a welcome respite for many of us during the summer, but it also hides many mysteries underwater, both alive and unalive. Sometimes these mysteries even get washed ashore. From cremation reef to the Baltic Sea anomaly, here are 15 most terrifying objects found in the deep sea. Number 15. Cremation Reef 3.25 miles offshore Key Biscayne, Florida lies an underwater city dedicated for the dead. This lost city for the dead is located 40 feet underwater, guarded by ancient-looking columns depicting lions. This is a cremation reef, formerly known as the Atlantis Memorial Reef. This underwater cemetery was sponsored by the cremation company Neptune Society. Graveyards on land already give an eerie vibe but this underwater necropolis is arguably creepier. Divers are free to visit the Memorial Reef, whether you just want to take a look around the site or you have a loved one that you want to visit. The cremated remains are stored into concrete memorials and placed in this site. Despite how terrifying the idea is, there's actually a good reason why this cremation reef was created. Aside from serving as a final resting place for people that adore the ocean, it also serves as an artificial haven for fish and coral. It's nice to think that after death, your final resting place will help new life to flourish. The idea of an underwater necropolis is certainly both creepy and fascinating. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Train Graveyard From human underwater graveyards, let's now take a look at this mysterious train graveyard recently discovered in the waters of New Jersey. The two trains were found by chance when a man named Paul Hepler was mapping the bottom of the ocean. Imagine his surprise when he saw two huge unknown metal objects covered with coral and other marine creatures. It turned out that these objects are actually two locomotives that were lost back in the 1850s. No one knows how these large trains ended up 90 feet under the water. When they were examined, the trains turned out to be rare Planet Class T models that were only produced for a short amount of time due to the unfortunate fact that they didn't really do well in comparison to other train models. These trains only weigh about 15 tons, and while they have enough speed and power, they're just too small to be considered efficient. It's still a mystery how they sank. There are no historical records regarding these two trains being lost, destroyed, or even being built in the first place. Although, it's highly possible that the records may have been destroyed. Experts still tried to come up with viable explanations about the two trains. There's a possibility that the locomotives were being transported on a barge when a massive storm hit. During the disaster, the trains may have fallen off the barge accidentally, or it may have been sacrificed by the crew to lighten their load to survive the rough waters. Whatever the reason may be, these two trains remain underwater, covered with rust and barnacles. Perhaps even after over 160 years, we would never know the story behind these two locomotives. Number 13. Chuck Lagoon Chuck Lagoon, also known as Truck Lagoon, is located in Micronesia. This place is sheltered by mountainous islands and a barrier reef that extends about 140 miles. This place is also known as a diver's paradise, but it isn't because of an ordinary reason. Back in 1944, a tragedy occurred in this place. The Chuck Lagoon holds one of the painful remnants of World War II, an entire sunken Japanese fleet. Since then, this place is not only tied to the consequences of war, but also to some alleged paranormal and supernatural occurrences. The Chuck Lagoon was actually used as a base for the Japanese fleet during the Second World War. The D-Day occurred in February 17, 1944, when Operation Hailstorm was commenced. An aggressive naval air and surface strike capsized and decimated over 50 ships and about 200 aircraft. This marks the day when the Japanese stronghold was completely decimated. Today, the Chuck Lagoon serves as one of the best wreck diving destinations in the entire world. This place is not only filled with destroyed yet once powerful battleships and tanks, but also with eerie reminders of the past, like human skeletons. After years passed by, new life started to grow on the wreck and divers often see schools of fish and the occasional shark. Number 12. Elongated Skull It's amazing how one human skull can tell a story of a thousand years. The skeleton of Naya is perhaps one of the most interesting and intriguing discoveries underwater. 
Her skeleton was hidden under the waves of Mexican waters for more than 12,000 years. It was one of the almost complete skeletal remains discovered underwater. Researchers were able to recover her skull, both arms, and a few parts of her lower body and one leg. Not quite complete, but more than enough to give the researchers the information they need. When it was discovered by divers, they were stunned after their analysis. Turns out that Naya lived a very harsh life in the early Americas, back when our ancestors were able to roam and migrate using land bridges that don't exist today. Naya's skeleton shows that she experienced severe health problems, judging by her scarred bones and teeth. She died as a teenager, no older than 17 years old, and the cause of her death is quite tragic. She helplessly fell into the exact deep pit where her skeleton was found. At the time, she's already in a very poor state, judging from her upper arm bone being only as thick as an adult man's little finger. What's more intriguing is that after examining what remained of her pelvic bones, scientists concluded that there's a huge possibility she gave birth before she died. Number 11. Underwater Circle If you're an avid diver, then you probably already know about the Underwater Sculpture Park of Grenada. This park is unlike no other. The sculptures placed in this underwater park are one of a kind. Designed by artist Jason DeCare Taylor in 2006, these sculptures hold a very impactful meaning, although they might creep you out at first. One of the most well-known pieces in Grenada is this underwater circle. This piece shows several people holding hands while forming a circle. The sculptures were made so perfectly that you might even mistake them as real people chained at the bottom of the ocean. This monument represents resilience and unity. It's a very strong statement, but sometimes their original meaning gets overlooked. There's something unnerving about human statues underwater, and so paranormal stories expectedly sprung out of the Grenada Underwater Park statues. It's great that the statue served as an artificial reef for marine life, but the corals and barnacles surrounding it only made it look creepier. Number 10. Rubber Duck Army Buckle up because we're about to follow the journey of 28,000 rubber ducks now this is quite an unbelievable story. Back in 1992, a container ship filled with thousands of rubber duckies lost their container during a massive storm in the Pacific Ocean. And even today, they still wash up ashore in different parts of the world. These bathtub toys embarked on a pretty interesting journey, and they're quite useful too. In the first year, these rubber ducks traveled over 17,000 miles from where their container dropped passing over the site where Titanic hit an iceberg and met its tragic end until they ended up on Hawaii. The group also chilled in the frigid waters of the Arctic a bit until they reached the shores of the United Kingdom, South Africa, and even Australia between 2003 and 2007. These ducks are even nicknamed Friendly Floaties, and some avid followers even created a map outline to follow their journey. Scientists also used this data to study the trends of the ocean waves across the world. I guess this also shows just how formidable plastic is as a material, with all these rubber ducks still floating in the ocean after many years. These bath toys became well known at some point, and one toy belonging to the friendly floaties army was even sold at a premium price. Number 9. Submerged Forgotten City Based on history and lore, it's common knowledge that the ancient Romans knew how to have fun. They even had a place back then where they had fun and indulged in hedonistic activities. But today, their extravagant venue remains submerged underwater. The sunken city of Baia served as an extravagant and lavish resort city for centuries, visited only by the most powerful, wealthy, and elite Romans. In fact, Caesar, Cicero, and even the fearsome Nero have visited the city. Many Romans once considered this place as a haven for its hot springs and healing water. Many of them even built permanent villas in the city. But like everything in this world, all good things come to an end. An army attacked the city in the 8th century, destroying everything in Baia. By 1500, the once luxurious place was reduced to rubble, and it was soon the hedonist city. Today, you can still see what's left of the city, including a majestic Roman bath ruins as well as a few statues. Number 8. Crack Between Two Continents This is the dividing line between the continent of Europe and America, the Silfra Crack. Silfra is located in the Thingvellir National Park in Iceland. If you've been in two places at the same time by being in between the boundaries of two cities, towns, or even countries, then perhaps you should try driving in Silfra, where you can be between two continents and touch them both at the same time. 
This location is the ideal spot to marvel at our world's geography because of the clear and glassy water that makes the crack visible. Number 7. 2,400 Year Old Boat in the Black Sea About 50 miles off Bulgaria, deep within the Black Sea, a remote-controlled submarine spotted this shipwreck. Turns out that it's actually one of the oldest shipwrecks ever discovered. Researchers only needed to take a small piece of the vessel to verify that the ship dates back from 400 BC, making it the oldest intact ship discovered underwater. The ship is called Odysseus due to the Greek designs found in the structure and cargo on the ship. Odysseus is the Greek hero in one of Homer's masterpieces, the Odyssey. The story has been read by millions around the world, and it's now considered a classic among readers. It's amazing to think that we have a piece of a magnificent ancient civilization that existed thousands of years ago. It's like the ship sunk at the right spot of the ocean where the water is anoxic or oxygen-free. This caused the amazing preservation of the ship that some experts couldn't believe was possible. Number 6. Stonehenge of Lake Michigan We're all familiar with the Stonehenge in Wiltshire, England, but did you know that there's also one in Michigan? Perhaps comparing them to the actual megaliths of the Stonehenge can be a bit of a stretch, but their structures and formation are quite similar. The stones, making up the so-called Stonehenge-like site, can be found 40 feet into Lake Michigan's Grand Traverse Bay. It was first detected using remote sensing techniques. Sunken boats, cars, and even a Civil War-era pier were discovered around the site, but this stone formation is the most mysterious and intriguing. The boulders range from 3 to 5 feet tall, and while some of them appear to be naturally formed, several contain patterns that are undoubtedly man-made. Number 5. The Lost City of Heraklion Covered with barnacles and corals, the statues discovered in the Lost City of Heraklion are very creepy and terrifying, although the story of the Lost City may replace your fear with awe. This Lost City was nothing more than a legend before the site was discovered. The city of Heraklion only appeared in a few inscriptions and ancient texts, who would have expected that the city was hidden underwater, undisturbed for thousands of years? Heraklion was found submerged just a few miles off of Alexandria's coast in Egypt. The objects found in this city are very remarkable. Experts discovered about 60 ships, 700 anchors, troves of gold coins, statues more than 16 feet, several sarcophagi, and an amazing massive temple dedicated to the god Ammon. Just imagine how Heraklion must have looked more than 2,300 years ago. Now, come to think of it, if Heraklion turned out to be true, just imagine how groundbreaking it would be if after thousands of years and endless searching, the city of Atlantis turns out to be real. If the descriptions of the lost city are authentic, I can't even begin to imagine how many wonders the ruins of Atlantis would contain. Number 4. Underwater Shark Somewhere out there, there's a clueless diver that had a mini heart attack while diving in Switzerland. With its mouth in an evil grin and a whole set of sharp teeth on display, this shark statue continues to spook and amuse divers all around the world. Surely, this shark is one of the most terrifying objects found underwater. Despite the horror and terror surrounding sharks, there are only about 10 deaths per year attributed to shark attacks, and most of them involve swimmers and surfers. If you take this into consideration, you'll probably be less terrified of sharks. Even some divers testify that while they're cautious of sharks, they still look forward to swimming with them, and they're not as bad as their reputation. Although, I'd rather not see a ferocious predator if I had a choice. This menacing shark isn't harmful though. It's an underwater statue located in Switzerland that was originally created as part of a short film. Once they were done shooting, the shark remains underwater to give innocent divers a jump scare. The statue's obvious wear and tear didn't help the shark to look less scary, and on the contrary, it even made it look more spooky. Then again, I think the longer you look at the statue, the funnier it gets. Just imagine how many divers out there saw its silhouette under the water and immediately booked it as soon as they could because they thought they encountered a real shark. Number 3. Letters from the Past Back in 2012, 57 letters were found tied together with a ribbon stored inside a box on the shore of Sandy Hook Bay in Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. These weren't just ordinary letters. They're letters written years ago between 1942 and 1948, during and after World War II. They were written by a woman addressed to her lover in Vermont. 
The family that found the letters immediately dried the papers and started to dig around to give them back to their rightful owner. But of course, they couldn't help but feel touched by the sincere and warm lines written in the letters. They first started their search by going to the return address of the letter, but they were disappointed to discover that the original house had been demolished. The family's plan B was a post on Craigslist, hoping that somewhere out there a person that knows the original owner might stumble upon the ad. Unfortunately, they received no reply and their efforts were fruitless. They soon found their answer by searching for the woman's name in an online gravesite record. According to the site, the man addressed in the letter died in 1991, and through the same posting on the website, they were able to connect with the couple's niece. It turns out that the couple in the letter got married two weeks after the last letter's date. Here's the interesting part. The family of the couple wasn't aware who kept the letters and where they were stored. That's why it was a pleasant surprise for them when they were contacted about it. The family that found the letters were even offered some money in exchange for their troubles, but they politely declined. The experience and a glimpse of pure love during hard times were enough to pay them back. Number 2. North Korean Ghost Ships Imagine walking along the shore and discovering a battered wooden fishing boat. You decide to inspect it further and take a closer look, but as you peek inside, you see the skeleton of a man. Terrifying! This actually occurred in the past few years. Several fishing boats, often with corpses or skeletons of fishermen, kept being washed along the coast of Japan. They remained to be a mystery until experts discovered the tragic story behind this heartbreaking occurrence. Due to dispute in territory and demand for food, North Korean fishermen wander too far into the ocean in search of any catch. Apparently, for many years, an invisible fleet of fishing boats have been fishing in North Korean waters, taking the fish and squid for themselves, forcing local fishermen to venture further for a successful catch. These small fishing boats are no match to the rough waters, but they have no choice but to take the risk. The problem of illegal fishers had been addressed, but sadly, the lives of the fishermen can't be brought back. Number 1. Baltic Sea Anomaly Atlantis? Alien spacecraft? Unknown object? Or just a simple glacier? These are some of the most popular explanations for the Baltic Sea Anomaly. Back in 2012, a group of divers surprised the whole world when they allegedly discovered a strange object on the floor of the Baltic Sea. The quote-unquote object is a weird-looking 210-foot-long feature lying 300 feet below the ocean on the sea floor. The divers attributed it to a lost city that sank thousands of years ago, perhaps even during the Ice Age. Some people saw that the rendering of the sonar image claimed that it looked like an alien spaceship. While there's also a possibility that the Baltic anomaly is nothing more than a naturally made formation, the team of divers strongly believe that this formation is a valuable mystery waiting to be discovered. What do you think of this formation? I guess we'll have to wait to discover if it's really something incredible or just a weird-looking formation. Do you also have a bizarre ocean experience to share? Or do you know other strange creatures or artifacts discovered in the ocean? Let us know your opinions and experience in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.